Hello, this is Maxon speaking, and today we have a challenge in BMG Drive. And this, in today's challenge, we're going to build the Chevrolet Fleet Line for Fast and Furious 8. And um, without further ado, let's start with the build. And in today's build, um, we're going to start off with uh, stripping down the car. And um, I'm actually going to skip that because it's quite boring and it's time consuming. So. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back and I've finished stripping the car down. And as you can see, uh, the car's got no doors, no fenders. And uh, I'm actually going to apply a rusty paint job on that because in the Fast and Furious 8 movie, the car is very, very rusty. So um, let's apply color. And um, I think the car has a brown color to it. And it's very rusty, so uh, I'm actually gonna. Ooh, okay, this is uh, quite good. And uh, okay, saturation won't change much, so I'm not gonna touch with that. Hue won't change much as well. And uh, for the chrominess, I'm going to go with matte. And uh, I think that's it for the paint job. So. Uh, yeah, it's looking quite good. And oops, wrong button. And uh, let's start off with the frame and uh, go to the body and uh, wait. Yeah, okay. Um, so um, off to the body and um, yeah, I'm not gonna touch that because it's irrelevant. Now, off to the hood. Um, no hood because, yeah, in the movie, the car's got no hood. Because, so I'm gonna remove the hood. And uh, for the interior color, I don't know what I'm gonna choose, but maybe race interior. So, what does it look? It doesn't change much, so uh, I'm gonna leave it there. And uh, for the steering wheel, um, um, yeah, going with this one. Because, why not? Okay, so uh, this is the body done. And, um, yeah, all checked. And this is how the car looks now. It looks pretty much like the car in the Fast and Furious movie. Okay, so now um, let's go to. Put go and put high performance radiator. Oh, it's already on this. Great. So, um, for the engine, I'm going to use the 423 cubic inch V8, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, the 313 is a bit too small, so, um, maybe 423. It's, but it's too large, maybe, but, uh, yeah, whatever. And um, yeah, the stroke engine won't do as well. So I think 423 is the best option we've got. So, uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll go with that. So, um, yeah, 423 cubic inch V8 engine. Although it's 6.7 liter large, but in the movie, the engine is quite large. So, um, not gonna care about that. So, um, for intake, the car's got a turbocharger in the movie, but we don't have the options. So, um, I'm just gonna put in a four barrel carburetor. So, um, it's looking quite good, quite rusty, so I'll do the transmission, 4 speed is okay, 3 speed is, hmm, I don't know actually, um, you know what, I'm going with the 4 speed, so, off the flywheel, it's okay, and, uh, I think that's the engine done. 
So, uh, let's head to. Um, nope, it's all checked. Uh, yeah, for suspension. So, um, front bricks. Yeah, I don't think that car's got sport bricks because it's the slowest car in the country and all that stuff. So, um, I think I'm going with the basic front brick pads. It's a drum brick anyway, so um, won't do much if it's a sport. So, basic. And uh, the front shocks. Ooh, it's got race. I want normal ones. Because it's the slowest car in the country again. So, um, no race. Normal ones. Got front springs. Normal front springs. And um, I think it has a race driver. Yep. So, going with normal one again. Great. That's okay. And front wheels. Hmm. In the movie, the front wheels look like that, so um, I'm not going to bother with it. And for the tires, I don't think it's got race slicks. So I'm going to put in the 215 radio tires. Mm -hmm. It's not quite good, although the rims aren't rusted, but there isn't that option. And this is the closest looking one, so I'm going to stick with this one. And um, let's see. Actually, what rim is this? I'm just curious. Which type of rim is this? It's not the folk. It's uh, not the ETK one. It's definitely not the ETK because the ETK was the modern BMW like car. Uh, not the Savannah. Not the Adler Royale. Not the Magnum, not the Power Push, not the Dragon. Wait, what? Okay, it's definitely not these ones because these are the very bad wheels. So, um, I'm going to scroll through the list carefully and find the rim. Not the Ukudai, not the Nomi. Bishi Rochi Garo TP hmm. Wrestler maybe? Nope. Um It's not these ones. Sorry, I've got a runny nose. Uh yeah. Okay, uh it's not the easy K. Definitely not it. Um so uh Hmm What is that rim? Okay, I'm not gonna bother with that. Ha! Huh. It's just a waste of time. So, I don't think it has a crit ratio, so uh, I'll go with the normal one. Because it's the slowest car in the country. And uh, that's the front suspension done, I think. Okay, off to the. Uh, what's it called? Okay, uh. I'm not gonna touch with that. Yeah, the rear suspension. Now I'm going to. What? Okay, I thought I saw the drag bricks there for a second, but nah, just a normal one. So, uh, a limited slip diff because Dom drifted around the city with that. <coughs> and I saw. <coughs> no, sorry. I saw both tires smoking, and uh, so I think it's a limited slip differential. If it's an open one, then it will have the one time fire problem. So, yeah, limited slip differential. So, um, now normal shocks, normal springs, normal all of that. And, uh, yep, normal leaf springs. Okay, now the rear wheels. Um, yeah, I'm just curious because I wanted to know what wheel is that. So, um, scroll through this very, very carefully. And so, it's not a dragger, not the Magnum. It is. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's the other power push. Okay, so. Um, 
I've got the answer right there. It's the power push rim. Okay, good. Now, test. Two, four, fives, maybe? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going with the 255 because it's a smidge wider. So, um, what are these? Oh, yeah, the all terrain ones. The crazy awful terrace. So, um, I'm going with the 255 slash 55R grip ball radio tires. Yeah, they look okay. And, uh, that's the rear suspension done. I think. Yeah, it's done. Okay. Then, um, I think that's the whole car done. I don't know, actually. License plate design. It doesn't have license plates. Huh. And, uh, let's check the extras. See what I uh, didn't check. Okay, seems like it's okay. And it's done. So, front seats. I don't know... If I wanted to remove that, the movie there's the reason that there's the front seat, but there is no passenger seat. But in this game, the front seat and passenger seat is connected, so I'm not gonna bother with that. So um, exhaust. Hmm. I don't know if I wanted to keep that because exhaust adds weight and it's decreased horsepower because of the muffler. No, uh, the catalytic converter, so, uh, I don't know. Okay, let's look up the car on the internet. Hmm. It seems like the car has an exhaust, so, <coughs> sorry. Um, so, um, I'm not going to bother with that, maybe. Let's check carefully. Um, so, um. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. So, um, let's keep that on the car because, yeah, why not? And, um, radiator support. I've got to keep it on the car because it's necessary to hold the radiator in place. And the rear doors, I'm going to keep it on because in the movie, it's a two-door car and um, the rear of the car is a piece of metal so I'm gonna keep it on. For the trunk lettering I'm gonna remove that because it's unnecessary and um, tow hitch nope and uh, yeah I think the car is pretty much done so I'm gonna name the car and then save it. So I'm gonna name it FF8 Fleet line. Okay, overwrite that because I've done the build before, uh, but that didn't come out as I expected. So um, let's overwrite that. And let's set it for vehicle because why not? And now let's head off and test drive the car. And um, let's go to. Yeah, small island, small island in USA because um, in the movie it's Cuba, I think, and the roads aren't maintained well. So small island USA has some bumpy roads, and I think it's the best place to test drive a car like this. So uh, import complete, great. So uh, we'll be there in no time. Good. Let's check out the stats. It's got 300 horsepower, 400 torque. Hmm, that's pretty good. And um, it revs pretty well. The car looks good. Wow, it came up better than I expected. Okay, so I can't shift through the gears. Why? So let's check. Do I have a transmission? Yes, I have one. Hmm. Weird. Why can't I upshift? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, let's try that again. Oh, works now. Yeah, maybe a controller problem. 
So uh, let's try to cut out. Yeah, it handles like expected. Wobblematic suspension. Very, very, very wobbly. And uh, it doesn't break well because of the drum brakes. And uh, let's respawn. This car is quite oversteering if I apply on the throttle and uh, it actually handles pretty well. I like this car. And across the bridge, accelerate up to 60 miles per hour and slam on the brakes. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and uh, the brakes really aren't that good and uh, yep, we're off. Ooh, the drive shaft broke. That's a new one. Okay, so let's test drive the car for a little longer. And uh, yeah, let's look at the interior view. It's very, very dangerous because there's no door and roll cage and no seat belt. So you might fall off the car any second. I don't know how dumb kept on the car. And uh, yeah. The car is quite understeering if I'm not applying on the front wheel because the range is all on the back. And uh, I removed the front of the car entirely. But the back, I didn't touch it much. So um, the distribution might be 40 on the front and 60 back. So um, it's very, very understeering. I, yeah, like that. Yeah, and this one, it's very, very understeer. But if I kick the throttle and yeah, just like this, it's oversteer. And in fact, it's very oversteer. I'm gonna die. And uh, let's head up to the racetrack. Okay, I'm at the racetrack, and uh, this is the industrial circuit, a racetrack, an industrial racetrack, long and. I have five laps to test drive the car, and uh, this is going to be compared with the other builds I'm going to do in the future. So, whoa, that's oversteer, and this is understeer, but it's predictable. Okay, so uh, this is oversteer, and uh, understeer, understeer, all the way, all the way, and yeah, it actually handles pretty good. In my opinion, okay. pretty good through the bus stop and slam on the brakes for the hairpin. Okay, for the hairpin, it's very understeer. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, that's how the car handles. And yeah, you really need to kick the throttle to make it turn because it's very understeer if you don't apply the throttle. So that's the first lap done. It's a 58.873. That's a pretty good lap time. It's under one minute. And oops, I went right right there. And yeah, this car feels very, very like 1940s and 50s. And uh, with that wobble suspension, it's. Uh, the weight transfer was happening. I, I, I don't know how to say, but yeah, the car just feels okay, but it's very wobbly. And uh, he slammed on bricks with his corner. And uh, <clears throat> we're about to finish our second lap. Ooh, it's a green lap time. That's pretty good. So, this lap we have a. Oh, it's a red. So, uh, I hope we can do better than the third lap. <coughs> and. Okay. That's very, very underserious. Watch out! Okay, send this to slaps, and this is going to make it to top 10 drifts of the week. Ah, just kidding. It's just a water. And Flying to the bus stop, and um, yeah, it's pretty good through the bus stop. And slam on the bridge for a hairpin. Oops, went very, very right through. 
way very bright for me there. And, um, but it's not gonna matter. The car is still okay. Accelerate through the last two corners. Massive oversteer moment. And fly to the finish line. Ooh, that's the fastest lap. It's a 58.422. Okay, off to the fourth lap. The brakes are pretty overheated. And uh, as you can see, the front left brake is slightly higher than other brakes. The, the temperature of other brakes. And uh, whoop, uh, oversteer moment. And some other oversteer moments. And oops, I might have cut the corner of the brake at bus stop. And yeah, look at the front left brake. It's up to 400 degrees Celsius. And oops, that's a spin. That's the lap time done. Okay, so. Okay, um, I think this car can't pump up more lap times because the front left brake was very, very overheated. And the car can't stop. Okay, and yeah, and the tires are pretty worn down. Because I can't steer. And this is the fifth lap, the final lap, and I hope I can do better. As I say that, I spun out. Okay, so that's the lap time gone. And uh, whoop. That's really the lap time gone. How slow am I? It's a uh, 10 second red. Whoops. So let's drift the whole track because the lap time's gone and let's have some fun. Oops, that's the spin. Okay, so this car is pretty good at drifting because when I'm sideways, the weight is at the back and the back end just won't go back to the center because the center of gravity is at the back. So uh, this is a really good at drifting. Ooh, as I say that, that's a very good drift. And off the final corner, drifting through that. And that's a pretty good drift. And across the finish line. So our fastest lap is a 58.422. So uh, this is going to be compared with the other cars I'm going to build in the future. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Let's do some celebratory donuts to celebrate our lap time. And um, yeah, I pretty like this car. And the rear brakes are cooked because I put on the handbrake at every corner right there. So, um, until next time, this is Maxa.